So now let's see how we can convert a PNG sequence from another application, bring it into Adobe Animate and export it as a transparent animated GIF file. So to do that, I'm just going to click on create new right over here in Adobe Animate. And then I'm going to choose the uh, dimensions. So I'm just going to choose uh, 720p SD right here and frame rate is going to be 30 frames per second. So that's fine. And I'm just going to hit create. So once I do that, the first thing that I have to do is import out the P, uh, NZ sequence. So in my case, I made a PNZ sequence from After Effects. You have to be sure that uh, from the source application itself that the offer channel is turned on for the PNZ sequence for this thing to work. So I'm just going to go to file for this to import everything out. I'm going to go to file, import, and I'm going to click on import to stay, uh, import to stays right here. So here on my desktop, I have a folder PNG sequence from comp one that I made in After Effects. And I'm simply going to select all of these uh, images right here and open it up. So at this point, your computer might freeze and that is quite normal. So it's importing out all of the images out as you can see, because it has to process out all the images just like that. So once all the images is there, you can see that uh, all the images is here. Now what you have to do is distribute it in uh, different frames right here. To do that, simply select all of it right here, right click on it. And over here, you have to select distribute to keyframes. So once you do that, what happens is that all the keyframes are made just like this. So you have from here to here, as you can see right here, all the frames have been distributed just like this. And there's the rotation over here. So now what we want to do is export this out as a GIF file. So I'm going to go to file right here, and then I'm going to go to export and here is export animated GIF. So once I select this out, it'll process everything out and open up uh, the GIF animation uh, exporting window. So it's processing everything out. So this uh, does take a bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. So it is going out right here, almost at the 100%. And now we have it right here. So this is the original and optimized. So let's not worry about anything right here. I can preview this out as well. Just like that, I'm just going to preview and then go around right here. So it's freezing because the processing takes a bit of time. So let me just pass forward this process. And you can see right here that it actually exports it out as a zip file right here in the web. So it opens up in my web browser. So now what we're going to do is uh, see some settings. So transparency is turned on right here. It's GIF, the color is 256, which is the highest color setting right here for the GIF. So lossy, no. So zero lossless uh, loss right here. These are all the colors that is used. So every uh, thing is okay. You don't, you don't see it here. Don't worry about it. When you export it, it'll show up correctly. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to uh, save this out. All right, GIF is selected. Transparency is selected right here. Looping is forever. So you can choose once. So only the GIF play only once if you do that. But forever means it keeps on playing up. So I'm going to hit save right here. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and save it there just like that. I'm just going to say uh, GIF animation transparent just like this and I'm going to hit save and it'll process out the file just like that, right? Over there, it is processing out and the GIF has been exported as you can see right here. So I can just open this out. Um, I have to open this out using a web browser. I'm just going to open this out using Firefox right here to see how it actually looks like. So now this is how it looks like as you can see right there. So you have this zip file format imported out right there. So if we were to open this up with default, let's just see how that actually looks like. It does not get, get supported by each and every application, but you can see that this is how it looks like. And this thing right here is transparent. So uh, you can bring it into another application and work around with them as well. So let's just go around again. Let's go and open with Firefox. Let's see it, how that looks. You can see that the background is a bit different, but it works around just like that. And that is how you export out a, a transparent uh, GIF file from uh, GIF animation file from uh, Adobe Animate. 
So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.